Hey everyone, Ian here with McLan Racing, and we are here to talk about the McLan Bluetooth ESE Programmer. So this device will work with your USB-C based device, and it will work with all versions of the DRK, all the way from the OG to the TSR to the RS edition. So we will be going through a couple of things today. We will go through how to update your ESCs. We will go through how to update your SmartLink app on your PC. We will go through how to update the app on your phone. And then finally, how to connect. Updating the McLan SmartLink app for the PC so we can update our ESC for the McLan Bluetooth. So I will go ahead and show you how to do that now. First, you will want to open your SmartLink app on your PC like I have done here. So it will bring up the news screen to start. From there, we will go to settings. We will want to click check update. You will see that it says we have the latest version of SmartLink installed. That is great. You have to make sure you are connected to the internet. If you are not connected to the internet, it will not find an update. From there, we will click Fetch Firmware Database. You will see that the firmware database is up to date. Again, make sure you are connected to the internet or it will not properly fetch the firmware database. From here, we know that our SmartLink app is up to date. So now we will be updating our ESC to accommodate the new Bluetooth module. So go ahead and connect via USB-C or micro USB to your ESC. You have it plugged in. You will see that the ESC will pop up a patch. This patch is what's going to allow you to run the Bluetooth. So now we will click yes to the patch so that we can run the Bluetooth. It will pause at 50% and then it will continue. That is normal. It will let you know when you've successfully applied the patch to the ESC and it will go ahead and it will automatically give you the most up-to-date firmware for either the unlocked or the locked ESC. And we will click OK. Now your ESC is up-to-date and ready to accommodate the Bluetooth. We will need to update your app on your Android or Apple device to be able to accommodate the Bluetooth. Okay, now we will be checking the update on the SmartLink app on your mobile device. So once you have it open, you will want to go to Settings, and you will want to go to About SmartLink. Here you will see the build number right here. That tells you what build number it is, and this is the proper software that we need. It tells us that the software was released on the fifth month, the 17th day of 2024, and that is pr the proper software to accommodate the Bluetooth module. If you do not see this, you will want to go to your Play Store or wherever you download apps, and you will want to download the proper software for you under the update section. So make sure you do that. That will be the last step of software update before we're actually able to connect. The ESC updated and you have the app updated. We can now connect over Bluetooth and you have the Bluetooth module. So you'll take your Bluetooth module and you'll plug it into the ESC either with the adapter for the USB-based devices or with just the micro USB for the micro USB-based devices. And we'll go ahead and open up our SmartLink app and we'll go to connection, connect via Bluetooth, and then we will select the Bluetooth dongle We're waiting till we find it. You'll see an MBT 
with some other numbers after it and that will be your Bluetooth device. We'll click it. Your Smart Link app is now pairing with your Bluetooth dongle and then the dongle automatically pairs with the ESC. So now we are completely connected with this Bluetooth device to this ESC for all tuning purposes. We can go to the ESC programming, we can look through all of the settings that are there, we can come back, we can look at our data logging, we can load our data. Right now I have no data in this ESC. You can save data, reset your data, look at the graph of your data. Everything you could do with a computer or with a other style of connection you can now do. Now once you're at the point you want to disconnect it, we'll go back to connection, we'll go to manage Bluetooth connections, and we'll click disconnect ESC, and we're okay to remove the Bluetooth dongle now. And your ESC will now return normal function.